Hi, this is Pedia Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 196. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And we'll also go ahead and open up Mon Develop. And where we left off, we had had it being able to save uh, one attribute. Uh, next, I want to be able to return one attribute. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and well, we're going to create a new attribute. Uh, if we go ahead and open up the attributes, uh, let me see. We'll go into Unity, uh, Attribute. I want to be able to set the base value and experience to level uh, in one line. We can do it in two lines, which is fine, but uh, it doesn't seem like we have one here. I, I have a different constructor for it. Yeah, so let's look at base stats. So we have the ability to set the base value and experience to level separately, but I'd kind of like to... Have have a way to be able to set both at the same time. So I'm actually going to add another one. And I'm just going to add it uh, right up here at the top. So I'm going to add a public. Uh, this is going to be a void because it does not return anything. Actually, never mind. We'll just do it in two lines. I don't want to edit these scripts just yet. So we'll actually just go back into game settings. And we're actually going to create a new attribute. So attribute, and I'm just going to call it att as equal to new attribute. And then we'll say att dot base value is equal to. And I'm also going to do att dot exp to level is equal to. I'm going to leave those blank for now, and I'm going to return ATT. And if we go over here, and if we go down to the load, uh, we should already have the template put out for us. So I'm just going to use it. So here's the base value one. So we're going to go in, and we're going to grab the attribute name, and this has to be switched to name, to string plus or constant for base value and helps if I spell right and I'm not going to do a default of 0 I'm going to do a default of 10 well no let's keep it 0 because it's easy to debug that way because when you're creating your character at least with uh, the game that I'm making uh, you cannot have a base value lower than 10 so if I do get one back that's lower than 10 it's obviously uh, something something that went wrong and I'll actually grab the code here as well for the experience to level. And I'll just paste that in and we'll go through, change the name, uh, make this a constant, which will be exp to level. And then we're grabbing the attribute dot starting exp cost. So let me open that up. I'm just going to save that off. And I just want to take a look here. Did I make this a static? I don't believe so. Ah, I forgot that I'd put a string in here for it. Okay, well, it's not in there, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a tribute. And I made it a constant. Um, I am tempted to make it a static. Well, we'll just leave it as a constant for now. Uh, you can't change a constant. Benefit of making it a static, um, you can still access it the same way, but you have other scripts easily change it. Uh, we'll just yeah, we'll just leave it like that. And I keep alt tabbing. When all I really want to do is just click the tabs up here. So that's fine. Uh, I'm going to come over to here, and I'm going to change this debug log. And what I want to do is do game settings dot load attribute. And that probably actually does take something. Doesn't seem to, there we go, attribute name. So I'm just going to say attribute, uh, we only have one being saved. And that was might, so that's the one we'll load. And I don't think we actually added a two string method. Uh, I've got an error because I a small s. Uh, if not, we'll just uh, debug out the actual values we want. So, pd 
I'm going to change his strength. Let's give him 70 strength. And we'll just throw the rest in. Well, it really doesn't matter where. And we hit next. Uh, yeah, we did not do it. So we'll just say uh, when it comes back, let me see, instead of doing to string, I'm going to say base value. So we get the base value. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of spacing in there. And I'll just copy paste the whole thing again. And I'll grab the experience level just to make sure the load function is working right. Save that off. There should be no errors. We'll start this back up. Uh, let's see. We'll just give him 61 this time. And away we go. And we'll hit next. There we go. 61 and 50 is my default for uh, the experience to level. So that's working. So let's go back in. We'll head over to game settings. Two. And the next one up is actually saving uh, all of our attributes, or at least uh, an array of attributes. So we'll come over. Well, let's work with this part first. We're going to have some sort of for loop. Uh, so for int equals zero. I'm sorry, int cnt equals zero. cnt is less than a tribute dot length. And we'll increase cnt. And we'll put our curly braces in there. And well, we'll just call the uh, I guess we'll just do uh, call this save attribute function up here. So save attribute. We're going to have to pass in the attribute name. So we can typecast an attribute name with the CNT. Uh, so the first one is always going to be, you know, might. Then the second one, I can't remember the exact order. Uh, do I have it open? Yeah, so we can actually come in here and say, you know, equals zero, equals one, equals two, equals three. Now these are automatic, but I mentioned before, I read an article that said it was a little bit more efficient to do this. So I'm just going to do it just for now, just to, well, just to do it, get it out of the way. Whoops, I zoomed in. <laughs> Uh, we'll save that off. We'll head back into our game settings. And the font is a little bit bigger, but that's fine. So we'll just put a comma there. And then the actual attribute. And the one we're passing in is CNT. And we actually need two braces here. Uh, let's count them. One. No, sorry, I only needed the one. Okay, and that should work. So let's go test to make sure that it's saving all of them. So I head back in. Whoops. We actually have to edit over here to save them all. So I'm going to come down. Uh, the font is bigger, so it's probably actually better for you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of this line because this just saves one. And I'm going to call game settings two dot save attributes. Make sure it's plural. And we're going to want to pass in tune dot. Uh, we're going to want to pass in all the attributes. Um, let me just open that player script. Actually, let's look how we did it over here. Um, so this is where we're saving it. Yes. So let's look at the attributes. So we're iterating through the length of the attribute names. And we actually ground them all. So we actually have to create an array for it. But I think we actually already have that in our player character script. So let's actually open that up and take a look. Uh, so let me see, that would be under, well, player character. So let's take a look. We've made, uh, here's our 
weapon, inventory, item. I'm not seeing our attributes. And I think we actually have more than one player, did we not? Uh, this inherits from base character, so we have to find base character. I really should go through here and start organizing some of these. So I'm going to close this up. Uh, we'll close that up. And I'm just going to search. Base character. Okay, so we'll come through here. And we had a private variable for our primary attributes. Uh, I just want to see if there's a way that we're returning these. Level free, add experience. We'll see how we're, well, here we're setting them up. We set up the values, we set up skills. And we don't have a way to access all of them all at once. Yeah, so we don't have a way to access all of our primary attributes at once, and I'd like to be able to do that. Uh, there's two simple ways to do it. We could just make this public and grab it that way. Uh, I don't really want people to be able to access them all at once. Well, actually, I probably am. Let me just take a look here at our game settings, too. Uh, we're going to be loading up all of our attributes and passing them back. And the way we could do that is, well, we are passing back in an array. So if we made it public, we could just assign it directly to it. Uh, again, though, I do not want to uh, make, well, we'll just do it for now because it's going to be very simple and it's a little less coding. So we're going to go ahead and take our base character. Uh, we'll just start off by making this public. And... I'm going to change the name here because it's no longer private. I'm going to get rid of that. So that should go through my whole project and change everything. And now I can come in here, sorry, over here, <laughs> and say tune dot uh, primary attributes. Uh, so the name is a little confusing. We're going to have to work on that. But for now, let's just do it like that. I'm going to leave the debug log out there for the strength. Uh, let's just try it out. Let's see if we have any errors. And we do. Uh, cannot convert int to attribute. And this wasn't supposed to be attribute. It was supposed to be attribute name. Uh, so we'll save that off. And it got rid of all of our errors. So let's go ahead and uh, let's increase some of these. So 57, 58. Or I guess 59, we'll do this one at 58, we'll do 53, 54, 52. I just want to make sure they're all different. And I'll just for the rest in charisma because my guy is very likable. So we're not getting our button now. Oh, because I did not put a name. So we'll just call him Petey. Here we go. And it's telling us that might is 57. But let's go ahead and look into our actual file. Of course, remember if you're on Windows, you're going to have to use uh, regedit or something to allow you to go through. And it does list them, list them alphabetically, but that's fine. And did I actually stop the game? I meant to leave it running so I could compare the values. Uh, but they are all different. Uh, oh, that's experience level. Okay, so 54, base value 59, and 1, 2, 3, 4, five, uh, six, so I do have six, I believe. Oops, no, that was tribute. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually have seven, what am I missing? Charisma, constitution, or sorry, concentration, constitution, might, nimbleness, uh, speed, I wasn't looking at speed, and willpower. Great, so they're all there. So we'll just close that off. And we'll head back into game settings too. And the next step is actually loading the attributes. Uh, seems that we're already running a little bit long. So I'll save that for the next video. Uh, before I go, I'm just going to get rid of these curly braces because they're not needed. And I'll see everyone in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.